okay so welcome back well we have a working helmet take a look Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go over the wiring and the Arduino programming side of getting the uh, getting the helmet kind of operating and working like that. Um, actually, really reasonably simple. I'd not used any Arduino software before, not done any real coding before at all. So, um, so all new to me. Um, so first of all, um, obviously the instructions are in the PDF sheet that comes with the box and loop STL files um, and that shows you exactly how to do all of the the wiring um, the code is in there for the Arduino um, and it really is a step-by-step -step instruction on, on how to do it so I went on Amazon and bought uh, these this is the kind of Arduino kit that I bought the Nano it's not Arduino Arduino it's um, Elego or Elegu or whatever they decide to call it um, this is actually a pack of three nano boards um, and it comes with uh, kind of individual individual nano boards um, and the headers um, that go that solder to them so you get the get the, the, the board um, identical chipset I think to the Arduino nano so that's all good um, and then also you get a little bag of bear with me a little bag of headers Please. so Depending on where you're putting these in the helmet, if you're following the original design, um, you don't need those. You just wire directly um, to the board itself, um, which is obviously probably what I'm going to do because there's very they're, well. They certainly don't fit in the um, plastic parts with the headers on. So these are the parts that um, go together, the base and the lid, um, for for the nano to sit in inside the helmet. Um, uh, so with the headers on they, they wouldn't fit anyway so um, so yeah so just don't wire it directly to there so what I'm gonna do is um, show you how it's all uh, wired how I've programmed the uh, code in and tweaking the code slightly from the helmet close and open positions so that you can get it right and how to screw all that to uh, screw all that together okay so let's take a look so as I say the wiring of the board is just as per the diagram it's really very simple um, I've got the battery pack power supply just powering the servos so the positive and negative of the servos goes to the battery pack at the moment I'm powering the Arduino via the USB um, I did have a power cable back piggybacked off of this and then going into the VIN and ground on the Arduino but the noise from the servos um, back down the negative the Arduino didn't like that at all and it caused all kinds of glitching and twitching and everything else so I just took that off. So when I do put the uh, the power supply on the V in and ground on here there will be a separate power supply to the servos. Um, then you've got these wires here. Um, this is the trigger so this would be the switch. I'm actually using a reed switch which is in there. These came in a pack of 10 which I shall put the link on. So a pack of 10 reed switches and um, and magnets as well, all ready to go. Um, I just made that into its own little package, wired that in, um, and then they go onto the trigger pins here. Um, and then you've just got the two control wires, one for each servo, going up to the servos there. So it's actually from a wiring perspective, it's uh, it's really simple. Okay, so actually loading the code into the Arduino software once you've got that installed um, wasn't too bad. Just again, you just copy and paste um, all of the code. Make sure you do grab all of the code. So copy that, paste that into the window. See, so you just missed that bit, but need another one of those. Um, so once that's all copied in, um, you can compile that and verify it and it compiles the sketch um, you do it where it says here include servo easing um, you have to go up to um, manage libraries and if you search for servo easing um, it brings up the servo library I can't remember exactly how it did it 
um, but you can go up there you can search for the servo easing um, in this section here um, and what it does is it uploads updates all the uh, the libraries uh, that you need so if you put in there servo for example um, and go OK you can see that it uh, it brings up all of the, this servo library and if you haven't got it installed you can install it you can update it if you uh, if you've got an older version so once that's installed it brings all this in anyway automatically once that's uh, once that's in and that's copied um, you sketch and go into tools you can see com3 is already highlighted so because it's already recognized my the arduino board in there once that's in you can just press upload and you'll see that it will actually upload the sketch uh, into the arduino okay so i've got the headers on this board because i'm just using this um, just to test everything and make sure everything works um, once you've got the servos obviously on the main twin plates and then onto that visor section there um, put the arms onto the servers if you run the code um, in the Arduino and, uh, and and actually run the servos you can see their open and closed positions will lock into place you can then put the white arms onto the servos the servo arms um, and then put the swing arm over the top of both of those and then with the other side putting the bearings in there which slot in nicely um, using the 2.3 by 10 um, screws out of the same pack and then just attach that onto the end of there so putting that whole unit onto the helmet is uh, pretty simple. You can see that the the servo uh, mounting plate just goes flush uh, with this part of that uh, that visor section. And then the visor itself has got these raised areas here on both sides. And if you kind of slide that back so that it meets this back end here and then screw up through in there, then uh, that should be in the right place. Okay, so I'm going to try and video this for you. Once this is in, and then you can run the code, you can see obviously where the servos run to. Okay. So if you put it into the closed position, the next thing to do is just to put the face mask into position. Once you've got that kind of pretty well lined up, you'll be able to see that there's a gap between that top servo mount and then where it's supposed to be on the actual face plate. Now what you do now is this is where that you'll modify the um, top and bottom closed positions so that you get that closer to where it's supposed to be. And you just kind of keep tweaking the numbers, move the servo so operate the, operate the code um, using your switch or whatever so operate the servos um, and then just keep putting the face plate back on until you see that that gap between between here and there is nicely reduced and it's all and it's pretty much sitting flush to it um, I'll show you how that looks with um, with my altered code in okay so now you can see now that I've kind of changed the code uh, back and forth a few times just to get that uh, angle in a different place. You can see how flush now that sits against the faceplate. Um, that's then your position. You can then screw that to the faceplate um, and you should be in the right place. And I'll show you uh, the, the alterations where the, where the differences are to the original code as to where, where mine now sits. Okay, so there it is on. Uh, power supply here for the Arduino, so that's just temporary obviously, battery pack in the back for the uh, for the servos and then little magnets for the root switch once it closes and all open. I can have fun with this all day. So yeah, really pleased with that, that's working okay, little few tweaks to do. Um, next thing I'm going to work on is just to put the LED eyes in, uh, get those working off the Arduino so that when the mask is closed the lights come on uh, and then when it opens they come off. So um, so yeah, hope that's, uh, hope that's helped, hope that's all good and I'll uh, see you in the next vid. See you then.